In order to harness the potential of digital economy through co-created regulations, the Nigerian Startup Act, in partnership with Ocean State governments, organized an ecosystem engagement with stakeholders in Ocean State on the adoption of the Act. The engagement, which was held in Oshibu on Saturday, had in attendance young entrepreneurs, digital entrepreneurs, and policymakers across the state. In an interview with the State Adoption Lead of the Nigerian Startup Act, Mrs. Tracy Okoro said when the Startup Act will be sent to the State Assembly and when the bill is passed, it will enable tech companies to thrive. The Nigerian Startup Act is a legislation, right, that was co-created by the different stakeholders using what we call the big tent approach, right, making sure that everybody that needs to be involved in this ecosystem was involved to create laws that create an enabling environment for young people, tech-enabled companies to thrive. She said the act in past government to dedicate 10 billion naira every year towards its funding. Okoro speaks further. The act empowers government to first dedicate at least 10 billion naira every year towards funding. Now, part of the way that the act also empowers is that there must be trainings done, right? So whether it's 100,000 people, 500,000 people, but then as an investor, as an owner of an academy, because of what the act has said, I can come in now and say, okay, I'm coming to Ocean State to train 100,000 people on different digital skills. Because I know that there are incentives for me, who is the investor. Because I know that there are benefits for me, who is the investor. Because I know that the government will back me up and support me because of the law. The coordinating director of Ministry of Science and Technology, Ken Jimo, said the main aim of the Ocean government is to empower the youth in tech wise, stating that the Ocean government has done a lot in the process of the adoption of the bill. That adoption means that something that was drafted at federal level, we now want to ensure that at state level it suits our expectations for those who are tech entrepreneurs. And we believe that by the time it suits the, I mean, the expectation of tech entrepreneurs based on that act. And if you, if you recall, I don't know whether you are aware, there was a time the members of the current House of Assembly visited Mr. Governor. I mean, I think last month or early February, right? Um, when they visited, one of the assurances Mr. Governor gave them is that by the time that startup act one of the bills that will be passed by the House of Assembly will be the Startup Act bill of Ocean State. The media advisor to the governor on ICT, Sholai Shola, explained the benefits of the innovation of the Act to the youth. He said thousands of youth are targeted to benefit from the Act through funding partnership from the government. So the benefit for the youth is that normally in the world now, ICT is like the driving force. Of, I mean, people talk about digital currency, ICT like the new world currency, and it is something that is youth inclined, right? So the benefit for youth is that they can now, you know, they can now start their businesses, they can now start their own businesses, run their businesses, get partnership from the government through this um, bill. They can connect with the government to get funding for their projects, for whatever innovation that they have. So they can now lay hands with the government. This is a framework for which a relationship can be established between any youth having a business that is IT related or not, maybe even if it's creativity in, in related or not, and then they can be able to connect with the government to get help you know, from the government. That's why uh, a while ago the governor announced that we are creating a desk for uh, the AFDB tech fund so that youth in the state can access the funding from the AFDB. So this is the kind of thing that the benefit that is going to come from this type of bill. Relating the significance of the act to health sector, Prince Will Chidioke has this to say. Technology is now the new good man. And uh, using technology or leveraging technology, we have a lot of solutions to profound. And we have a lot of problems to solve. Problems starting from my own sector where I work. I'm a civic and health tech leader. So in the health sector, I believe leveraging technology, we will have an opportunity to save a lot of lives and improve the quality of lives to that aspect here. From Oshogbo, Motipala Show Me, Selling TV.